Hi ladies, it's Sadie Carter here. Um, I'm here to talk about something that I believe in this business is really, really important. And what that is, is the Cenocyte and the CDO option. So I'm gonna get in, into a little bit um, of information for you guys on these programs. But the first thing I wanna go over is maybe who these programs would be good for. Um, a lot of girls, um, contact me or some of my downlines and they're really really interested about signing up but they're very nervous because they say that they have a really large following and they know that the second they sign up they will have a huge influx of orders coming in that they won't be able to maintain and that is really overwhelming and it will keep them from signing up if they feel like they're gonna get too overwhelmed by it or if you have someone who's like a beauty blogger that's really busy or a full-time worker that doesn't have the time nor the hours to go to the post office and be sending packages out and tracking everything or even a full-time mommy who has a couple of babies that can't focus on this as much this is a really good option for those kind of women so as you're recruiting if you recruit people like that let them know about these options teach them about these options from the very beginning and give them a little bit of peace of mind that this may be a big weight lifted off their shoulders and then you can let those girls know that are interested that they don't need to be scared about signing up because of this this option so I just wanted to cover that with you guys first now there is a lot of information I'm going to cover regarding these programs so I do have notes so please excuse Excuse me if I look down, I did write everything down I want to cover. So I just want to make sure I cover everything for you guys. So the Cenocyte and the CDO program, which CDO stands for um, the Customer Direct Order, they work beautifully in tandem. So I'm going to explain why they work so great together. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the Cenocyte. So the Cenocyte is a place that you can set up personally, and it's a link that you can send your customers to to order. Now, most people in this business that don't have Cenocytes, they have to personally take the orders from their customers. So they're messaging them, they're texting them, calling them. The women have to tell the distributor what colors they want. The customer pays the distributor. The distributor has to order the product or pull it from stock, and then they have, they're have responsible for shipping it out. It's a lot of work for a distributor. Um, but with the Cenocyte, they don't have to text you. They don't have to message you. They'll just say, I'm interested in ordering um, LipSense. Do you have a link or a website? And at that point, instead of saying no, like most distributors have to do, you would be able to say yes. That's what a Cenocyte is. So you'd be able to give them your link. They'd be able to go to that link, browse through everything we have to offer, add it to a car on the Cenocyte and pay there. Now, normally when you just have a Cenocyte and you don't have the CDO turned on, you would get a notification from the company via email letting you know that someone had ordered on your Cenocyte. So you would need to be responsible for fulfilling that order. So you would have to look and see what they ordered and if you had it in stock, you could go ahead and just ship it right out to them. But if you did not have it in stock, you would have to place an order and get it shipped to you very quickly. And then you'd have to package it, mail it out, pay for shipping. So it's still kind of a hassle. Even though the Cenocyte is good for your customers, it makes it easier for your customers, you're still having to manage the um, control of everything and having to ship and package everything. Um, so that is how the Cenocyte works. Um, it's really, really nice, like I said, but it's still a mini hassle. Now with the Cenocyte, there's two different options of what you can do. You can do it on a monthly basis or a yearly basis. You obviously get a little bit of a kickback if you do it yearly. If you decide to do it monthly, there is a startup fee of $60 to activate your Cenocyte. And then after that, it's about $30 a month and you can keep it open as much as you want. So if you want to trial run it, that would be the best possible option. Then the yearly uh, option is about $300 for the year. So you do get a little bit of a discount each month by doing that. Um, now the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the CDO. So like I said, CDO stands for cu Customer Direct Order. This CDO pro program takes out the hassle for the distributor. So what this is, is it's a program where if someone goes to your Cenocyte and they order from your Cenocyte, they go and pay, they choose what they want, it notifies the company instead of you, and then they are in charge of fulfilling the order. So they package it and they ship it out. 
So they're taking care of all the work. So at this point, you've had to not worry about anything because the customer's just going directly to your site, they're ordering and the company's taking care of it and you're making the money off of it. So it literally, it, it's hassle free for you guys. Um, the thing that I wanna explain though is the, the CDO program is an opt-in or out program. You can opt in and out whenever you want. So it's very, very easy to use, which I will explain in just a second. But it does make your life easier. It's not required. It's a choice made by you as a distributor on how you wanna work your business. Um, so again, they're gonna go directly to the website. They're gonna order company direct sh uh, dr ships directly to them. So. The thing to understand is the distributor, like I said, still receives the retail profit from the sale. So um, you're still making the money from the sale, but the company does take a small portion. I'm gonna explain those portions very quickly. If you have a Cenocyte set up, the company is gonna take a 7.5% commission from the sale to cover their own shipping and packaging for that customer. 7.5, you guys, is nothing. That's pretty much saving you money in packaging the products with organza bags, business cards, bubble mailers, and paying the $3 in shipping. That's essentially equal to 7.5% of that order. So it depend, it comes up to you and what's, what's easier for you. Do you wanna lose the hassle of going to the post office and driving and spending gas? I feel like it's less of a hassle to just pay the 7.5%. It's nothing. Now, if you don't have a C, uh, set aside and you have your CDO program turned on for people to um, just have the product shipped out to them, they take a 10% um, commission. So you, you, it's more beneficial to have your set aside turned on. Now, the one thing that I want to explain is how um, much money you're making from these sales. So the thing to understand, when you have your CDO turned on, the, the amount of commission that you're making is based off of the amount of PV you're at for the month. So for example, sorry, my eyes are a little dry, I keep blinking. If you had placed a 750 PV order at the beginning of the, the month and you had your CDO on with your Cenocyte, you would have opened up a 50% discount for the remainder of that month, no matter how big the order. So that means anytime someone went to your Cenocyte and ordered and the company fulfilled the order for you because you have your CDO on, you would get a 50% commission. So if it was a $50 order, you would get $25 profit and the company would take a 7.5 commission of that. The thing you have to understand though, if you had um, maybe not placed an order yet and your Cenocyte was set up and your CDO was turned on and someone ordered something on the second day and you hadn't placed an order yet and you haven't um, built up PV for the month yet and established yourself a discount, you're only gonna get 20%. That's the lowest um, discount structure. So that's pretty much what you're gonna get on your um, commission. So if someone goes in and orders, you're only gonna get a 20% commission and then the company takes a 7.5%. So keep in mind the smartest way to run this program is obviously placing a 750 PB order in the beginning of the month to maintain that 50% commission through the rest of the month. Now, you can turn, like I said, you can turn your CDO on and off. You can opt in and out. So say it's the beginning of the month and you know that in the first couple days you're gonna start getting orders on your Cenocyte, but you know you can't quite place an order yet. I would go turn your CDO off and just personally fulfill the orders for a couple of days until you can place an order and then turn it back on. That way you're getting the best bang for your buck and you're not only getting 20%. So please understand the amount of commission you're receiving is based off of the PV um, level you're at for the month. It's the, same, it's the same level that you guys earn when ordering. It's 20, 30, 40, 50% based on how much the order is. It's the same concept. Um, now let's see, we wanna make sure we're covering everything. Um, I will explain before this video is over where to go to turn it on and off so you guys understand that. Um, a lot of girls get really confused though um, where I explain to them that they're going to want to place a 750 PV order at the beginning of the, of the month to get, get that 50% discount. They don't understand why they would do that because they say, well, if everyone's ordering from my Cenocyte, why would I want to have product on hand? The reason I think that that's still smart is those are all um, 
on the web, on your on the web. It's people that are technology. You they found you on Facebook, on Instagram. You're giving them the link. So that's going to take care of those customers. But you're still doing, or you should still be doing um, events, parties, expos, demos, all those types of things that you will still need product on hand that will sell faster if you have it there for them versus ordering. That's why I would still have 750 PV each month. That's going to get you motivated to get out and still be doing sales. Some people that have the Sun of Sight and CDO kind of take a backseat approach and they're like, oh, well, people will come to me. I don't have to worry about it. But if you want to make the most amount of money possible, you still have to get out and work the business out in the world. You still got to go set up events and do parties and that 750 PV will cover those. Now, um, let's see, let me make sure. Um, the another really important thing for you guys to understand is that the distributor still the PV that's coming from the CDO and Senesite still counts for your PV for certain requirements. So um, if you have to like hit 750 PV to maintain significant Santa seller status, that still counts for you. Your PV also still counts for your uplines. Like if I had a downline that had this set up and they were earning um, PV on their Senesite and CDO, I'm still getting a commission off of that as long as the distributor had placed their own 300 PV order minimum. These don't count as a distributor's personal order. So why that's important to you, if you have a team below you that you're making commissions on, these orders do not count for the 300 PV order you have to place to qualify for the group sales volume bonus. So please, please remember that. You have to still at least place a 300 PV minimum order each month to get paid on your downline. These PV don't work for that. So please remember that. But it does count for other things um, that you're trying to qualify for. Um, let's see, orders placed through CDO, um, do they do count. If you guys understand that in the six month period to stay active in this company, you have to place a minimum of uh, 100 PV order, which is $200 retail. These orders will count for that. A lot of people get confused and think that they won't count. Th these will help keep you active. Um, the other thing that a lot of people kind of let go when they're doing the Sun Ascent and CDO, they kind of let go of customer service because at this point, you're sending your customers to a website, the company's taking care of them. We've kind of lost the personal touch here. So you as a distributor are responsible for maintaining that customer care. You're still checking in on them. You're making sure they like the product. You're asking them if they like the color. And if they don't and they need to exchange it, you're taking care of that. You're taking care of refunds. They're not going through the company for these things. So making sure you're still handling the customer care, that's um, really, really important. Um, Let's see, um, I think that we covered. Now the last thing is, um, if you're getting orders on your Senna site with your CDO, the company's obviously tracking how much money you're making. So again, if you're smart, you've placed a 750 PV order at the beginning of the month, and you've maintained a 50% commission for all of those orders. Say you had a bunch of $50 orders, and you're making $25, $25, $25, and then the company was taking their small 7.5 cut, 7.5 cut, they're gonna take whatever's left that they owe you and they're gonna keep track of that. Now, there's two different ways that you can get paid in this company and it's based on the retention level that you have set. If you do not know anything about the retention level, I have a video solely on the retention level that you can learn about um, on my YouTube channel, so I would suggest watching that because I'm not gonna get into details here. Uh, but you can choose to be paid in Senna Cash or via a check. Now, if you get paid Senate Cash, they're going to input that Senate Cash into your account twice a month, on the 7th and on the 15th. So whatever you had left over that the company owed you, they will input into your distributor back office and allow you to use that Senate Cash on products. So if you're wanting to just put everything you make back into your business, that's the best way to do it because it's just there for you already. Now the thing to remember, Senate Cash is worth retail value, so it's dollar for dollar. So if you get $200 cent of cash, it's worth $200 retail. Um, so that's something important to remember. Now, if you're getting, if you've opted in to get a check from the company, they send those only once a month and they come on the 15th. So please keep that in mind. Um, now, that is essentially everything you need to know about 
um, the CDO program and the Sunnicite. So what I'm going to do um, very quickly is just turn the camera to the computer and kind of explain where you'll find this information. So here we are on our, our back office, which we should be using every single day. Now, if you go to the tabs up here and you click on the business tab and you go down to customers, which is right there in the center, it's going to bring up a drop down. And if you go to customer direct order program, which is the second option and click on that, it's going to bring up this program. This is where you can opt in and out. So this is where like in the beginning of the month, if you know you can't place your order, your 750 PV order right away, I would turn your CDO off for a couple of days and just fulfill the orders yourself and then turn it on once you can place your order. So that's where you're doing this. If you want more information, you can also scroll down and learn and read about the CDO program or you can send your new distributors here to learn as well. The next place that we're going to go again on these top tabs would be the Senesite tab. This is really good information. The first tab is what is a Senesite, the Senesite setup directions. So this is all the tabs they're going to be needing to use if they're setting up a Senesite. There's even the application and everything. So those are the two tabs you're going to be using the most when setting up your Senesite and CDO. So I hope that this was beneficial for you guys. Make sure that you're paying attention to the girls that are signing up on your team. Figure out who this would be beneficial for. I honestly think it's beneficial for everyone. I think it's really smart business decision. If you have a lot of sales coming in, it's a great option. Um, but mainly for your full-time ladies, your full-time mommies, your people that have huge following on blogs, um, different things like that, this is a perfect option for them. So I hope that you guys find this information useful and share it with your downlines. And I hope you guys get some sites with CDOs turned on and find a lot of success with it. Thanks ladies, have a good day.